Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to explain the difference between um, Office 365 licensings. So there's Office 365 E1, Office 365 E3, and Office 365 E5 licensing. And also there's an EMS E3 and EMS E4. And another one is called Microsoft E3 and Microsoft E5. So let's look at Office 365 E1, E3, and E5 first. So here's the link you can go to. Um, so with E1, E3, and E5, with E1, you don't have the capability to install Office component on the computer. It's, it's an online Office application only. You can access from the browser. But it, it included all these services um, Exchange Online, OneDrive, SharePoint, Microsoft Teams, Yammer, and email hosting with 50 gig of uh, mailbox. And if you want more information, just click on it. You get one terabyte of storage space. So all these with um, E1. The only difference is between E5, E3 and E5 and E1 are with E3 and E5 you can install application locally on the computer the same thing as E5 and it has services include pretty much the same between E1 and E5 I'm sorry E1 and E3 with E5 you get the PI, uh, Power BI Pro um, email hosting, you get 100 gigabytes, I guess 50 more, uh, 50 gig more than um, E1. Here's all the features. So you can have, you can install Office on five phones, five tablets, five PC or Macs. So you can install up to 15 devices. Unlimited personal storage, uh, personal cloud storage. So it says unlimited, but by default, you get a hundred gigabyte of uh, personal storage. Here's some more information, and some more features available. As you can see, E3 has less features than E5. E5, it has the uh, calling plan. You can make and receive transfer calls across a wide range of devices, phone system, make a domestic or international call. So with E5, you have PC, uh, PSTN calling. With E3, you can only do chat if you're using Teams or Skype. So that's the E3, E5 licensing and E1 is the basic one. Uh, the next thing we want to look at is the Enterprise Security Mobility Suites, which is called EMS, EMS Licensing. <clears throat> so there's EMS E3 and there's EMS E5. Or they call it if you have it's an Azure Active Directory Premium P1 and P2, and both include Intune. It has advanced threat analysis, analytics, and E3 does not have cloud app security, it does not have advanced threat protection. As you can see here, all these features, um, 
A3 does not have risk conditional access. And A3 does not have privilege identity management. And when it comes to mobile manage, manage mobile product productivity, E3, it's include the same features as E5. And it come, when it comes to information protection, or it's called AIP, Azure Information Protection. I guess E3 does not have intelligent data classification and labeling. Configure policy to automatically classify and label data based on sensitivity and then apply persistent protection. So with E5, you can have that. It has everything else here, document track, rever revocation, encryption, key management, key regulation needs. Identity driven security. E3 has advanced threat anal analytics and E3, E5, both E3 and E5 does. Cloud app security, E3 does not have that. Advanced threat protection, E3 does not have that. Um, price, it's almost double between E3 and E5. So if you want to look into advanced securities, um, E5 is the solution for you. With, if you don't have EMS license, you only have the Office 365 license. Office 365, E3, and E5 does include multi-factor authentication. It's just the basic MFA. And it also includes the Azure AADP, which is the basic Azure basic features. You don't have to advance um, features. So E3, uh, Office 365, EMS. The next one we want to look at it's called the Microsoft 365 or M365. So with MC365, it's include all these. It's include the Office 365 E3. It has the Windows. The only thing that it's include with M365 is the Windows 10 Enterprise E3. And as you can see, E5, it has Office 365 E5 and Enterprise Security E5. So that's M365 is the whole package, which is include Windows 10. This is just um, Microsoft Education. It's for schools. It's what's included in Microsoft E3 and E5. So M365 E3 includes the following here. And E5, M365 E5 includes, it's include E3 and Skype for Business on client online it has the cloud pbx it has the microsoft pbi uh, power pi bi and other services and with the windows 10 it has the windows defender windows defender advanced threat protections with it which is e3 does not and when it comes to ems it has the everything with the security E3 plus Microsoft Cloud App Securities, Azure Active Directory Premium P2, and Azure Information Protection P2. So I went through all the licensings um, Office 365, E1, E3, and E5. 
enterprise mobile mobility security that's uh, EMS E3 and E5 and the M365 if you have any questions please fill in the comment section and thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe to my channels my channel will cover office 365 Azure and configuration manager SCCM thank you for watching and have a good day